Alright, this is Saul with another video for Master of Resources. I'm going to cover some of the other items that I have in my packs from time to time. Now, this is my uh, mink oil container that I use for making char cloth. It's got a hole in the top. Y'all see my other videos. It's got uh, four buddy burners. It's got some char cloth right up in there. It has some little spaces for uh, some more char cloth if I wanted to. Uh, this is pretty valuable because I can make more char cloth with it out in the bush once I get a fire going. You can also make char cloth in the water bottle, but then you have to clean it out. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, I showed you my wood gasifier stove uh, in my other videos, and uh, I am going to show you how this works uh, one day. I'm going to boil some water, and I'm going to show you how to make one yourself out of some food cans once I uh, gather some more food cans together couple of buddy burners here. These are uh, these are shorter. These are doubled up and facing each other so they don't spill everywhere. But they're wider so you can actually cook uh, with a small frying pan or something on those. Uh, more zip ties. I love zip ties. I don't know that. Here's a couple more stoves that I made. And let's see. Now these are candle stoves. Use the tea candles to heat up things and use these nails to uh, put your water bottle or you can put your meat directly on these when you're grilling. However you want to do them. But uh, you put your candles down in there. You can put uh, about three or four of them in there and you can see I've used them. And they work okay. Uh, and both of these are the same type. They're they're uh, different candle. Well, they're different types, but they're uh, they're the same. Uh, using the candles and the nails. And uh, I uh, I tried them. They're okay. They'll heat stuff up. It takes a little bit of time. They're a little messy because the candle wax is everywhere. But uh, I keep this in there to keep it from rattling all over the place, so people don't hear me coming from half a mile down the road. But uh, you know, they're not as good as the wood gasifier, but they don't make nearly as much smoke. But uh, if I were going to go with something like this, uh, I, I, I have to do some more research on it and uh, some R&D because I'm not satisfied with the performance of these. Alright, now here's a couple of things I have right here. Now this, sometimes I carry this in my main pack, and this is a repair kit. It's basically sewing and repairs. Uh, see we got we got hemostats uh, these are multi-purpose you can use them to uh, stop uh, bleeding wounds and stuff like that plastic hemostats they won't stop the bleeding wounds as much but both of these are good for uh, holding your material in place while you're sewing and uh, this paper clamp is the same thing uh, I use this more than I use those to hold my material in place while I'm stitching needles needles snaps a couple of uh, Different kits right here. Got some um, uh, sewing machine needles right in there for awls, and uh, some black thread here. But uh, I think this black thread is probably older than some of y'all, because once I got that leather thread, I stopped using this black thread, and that was years ago. So, and I've uh, got some buckles, some uh, different uh, webbing keeps, more buckles, different sizes, and I've got some webbing right here for repairs. I've got some zip ties, uh, small zip ties. I've got a pair of scissors right here that uh, I can pull them out. Okay. Alright, well these scissors don't want to come apart. Well, it looks like they're breaking. Well, I'll never use those scissors anyway. I always just use a knife or these small scissors for sewing with. I used to use those a long time ago, but uh, I quit using them. Now, these are some more uh, some uh, safety pins. You can never have too many safety pins, in my opinion. Uh, you can use them for lots of things for uh, uh, pinning your materials together while you're sewing. But I don't use those as much as I use the uh, the hemostats and the uh, the paper uh, clamp because. Uh, put paper clips in the material or uh, 
safety pins in the material, it kind of curves them and it changes the shape. If you sew them all the way that way, it's not exactly right. It changes the shape of the stitch. So I don't use them as much anymore. Now, this is another survival kit. This is like an all-around survival kit. I used to keep this full in, in my pack all the time, but since then I've taken it apart and uh, put the pieces in different places. Uh, this still has a bunch of stuff in there that uh, can be added as an emergency kit. Shoe polishing cloth, moist towelette, some seasoning packets, uh, nutcracker, spork, hot hands, a little drinking cup that you can open up. Well, that was pretty neat. It's a little container. And uh, this is a multi tool. It's got several things in there. It's got a little pen knife. It's got a little poker. Little tiny screwdriver. It's a Phillips right there. tweezers fell out one day and I lost them. Oh no, here's the tweezers. Uh, something fell out of here and I lost it. I don't remember what it was, but it went right up in there. And on this side, this uh, this doesn't stay together very often, so I quit, I quit carrying this in my main pack because it's all broken. Yeah, here's another pair of scissors down here that you can use. And these are not actually bad scissors right here, but this case does not want to stay on so I have to keep it duct taped on there so the scissors won't fall out now we got some zip uh, twist ties here got a little bandage case with a bandage some more twist ties a little uh, uh, blade for uh, box cutting and, and uh, different things like that some shampoo cotton balls shoved up in there and uh, what's in here Ooh, some baking soda there's some baking soda right there now baking soda is a very very useful item you can use it for brushing your teeth you can use it for deodorant and you can use it for uh, put it as a dry shampoo and you can use it to alleviate uh, uh, odors from lots of different things like clothing and pillows and such like that. Petroleum jelly, good for lots of different things. You can make ointments and stuff with that. And I think this is beeswax. Yeah, this is Murray's beeswax in this other container right here. And that could be used as a hair dressing. You can use both the uh, beeswax and the petroleum jelly to help with your fires and uh, lots of different things like that. So those are uh, multi-purpose sundries.